So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in Docker in which we're going to see how you can install Docker Compose. And the good news is that if you're running a Mac OS or a Windows operating system, then Docker Compose actually comes baked into the Docker engine, which you have already installed in the previous tutorials. Um, for example, you can see in the installation instructions as well in the documentation, you can see that Docker desktop for Mac actually includes Compose with itself. So Compose is actually a official Docker tool, right? Um, similarly, same for Windows, but for Linux, what you have to do is just uh, run a bunch of scripts in the terminal and you should be good to go. So just go ahead and follow the instructions. I'll leave this link in the description. You just have to, you know, curl a script, a bash script, and that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah, and that you just have to run that script and just change some permissions, uh, move it to the binary executable directory, create some soft links, whatever, and you would be good to go. So just to verify that it's working, what we can do is go ahead back in our terminal and say docker compose dash v and it should spit out the version number it has, right? So it could be anything like anything in the range of 1.2 um, to 1. Point, you know, whatever the same version you think is good. And if you're watching this, obviously this would be fine. So um, yeah, that's that's pretty much how you're gonna set up Docker Compose. And once you get this line of code working, that means Docker Compose is up on your system. So that's pretty much what you have to do. So that's all for this video. I'll see you then in the next one in which we'll finally get our hands dirty with some Docker Compose configuration. See you then in the next video.